If you could pick one word to describe yourself, Mr. Mundy, what would it be? Uh, well... I'm going to answer that for you. Victim of the educational system. <gasps> of the role society has shackled you with as an Australian, of course. And let's not forget the current administration, which... Wait, back up. What did these folks do to me again? Forced you to be a killer. For the last time, mate. I'm a professional. Exactly. A victimized professional killer. Jack! An assassin. A murderer. Jack, 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 a deranged Jack, 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 psychopath. Jack, Jack, Jack. Let me in, Mr. Mundy. How do these words make you feel? I'm choking the oh, look! We're here! Well, let's get to work. You come in fancy paints. You have a disease, Mr. Mundy. Don't ask me to enable it. I'll wait in the van. <sighs> right. Remind me why we got to talk to this halfwit again. In a word, PR. The administrator sees this as a perfect opportunity to show the good people of Badlands you're not just armed psychopaths blowing up their landmarks on a daily basis. I see this as a perfect opportunity, Miss Pauling, to spy on the armed psychopaths we're paying to blow each other up on a daily basis. This director's the perfect dupe. He's too stupid to divine our reasons for commissioning him. Too arrogant to listen to anything our mercs are actually telling him. And he records everything. Is all of this surveillance necessary? Most of these men's IQs are subnormal. Plutonium isn't smart, Miss Pauling. That doesn't mean it won't kill you if you don't keep tabs on where it is and what it's doing at all times. I was given your file. Let's talk about your childhood. Your father was a counter-revolutionary. When he was killed, you, your mother, and your sisters were deported to a northern Siberian gulag. Paint me the picture. No! This is my gun! I like to shoot this gun! Is all you need to know. Your family only lived in that gulag for three months. In December 1941, it burned to the ground. All of the prisoners had escaped. All of the guards had been killed, tortured to death. I like to shoot this gun is all you need to know. Fine. Tell me about the gun. She weighs 150 kilograms and fires $200 custom. More of a mentor to the rest of the team, you know? I see how they could be doing the jobs better. Hey, no matter how busy I am, I will drop what I'm doing and tell them. And why? We ran out of I'll film. I'll tell you why, Five because I'm a team ago. player. Probably we ran out of film of five hours ago. That's okay. You can go buy some more. I got tons more to say. We'll wait here for you. Man, what a jackass. So, how you doing, Miss Pauly? Hey, you ever see me with my shirt off? Because it is awesome. No, I don't think Sun Tzu wrote any books about punching through a man's rib cage. Huh. Tell you what I'm gonna do then. Stop making threatening phone calls to the bookstore. Come here, I wanna show you something a man of letters like yourself will appreciate. Ta-da! Heads! Everyone on the red team, ma'am? Oh, yes. I think we've got more than enough. Did you think we wouldn't see what was really happening? Nobody asks a train killer questions like that, unless they're an idiot, or they're up to something. So now we are asking the questions. I would strongly urge you to answer them. Sniper? Oh, I've got questions all right. Like ain't it a big bloody coincidence how uh, one week after I talk about me mum and dad in an interview, <coughs> some soon-to-be dead man's mailing me pictures of them. I also get pictures in mail. Of my home. I will find this man. I will destroy this man. 
That's your gun there. Yes. In a tiny bed beside your bed. Yes. That's pretty embarrassing. Yes. I must buy Sasha a better bed. That is nothing! Look what I got in the mail! I am also going to drop it on the floor like all of you did! Dunk! Whose head is that? MINE! The question is where are the other seven? First off, gentlemen, let me thank you for shooting yet another messenger. And when you kill the messengers, they can't return the miniature televisions, which it may surprise you to learn don't grow naturally on their chests. I have to buy them. Secondly, let me solve your little whodunit. I sent you those photos. My heads! Yes, I took the heads too. Rest assured, they have been destroyed. No! The photos, Mr. Doe. Your heads are safe. I merely wanted to illustrate the dangers of discussing the terms of our contract with anyone. Granted, this example is absurd, but imagine if I were somehow forced to use the information I now have about you against you. Imagine some ridiculous hypothetical scenario where we weren't the close personal friends I know we are. Well, I think we've wasted enough time with fantastical yarns. I believe we have come to an understanding, gentlemen. Enjoy your evening. A mine? She wants to conduct her interview in a mine? She prefers the acoustics. I suspect you misunderstood her, like you misunderstand everything. God, you're useless. Well, let's get this farce over with. Hello? Hello? Ring. Keep walking, she's further in. Pass these white canvas tops? Ooh, perfect. Stand on those, I'll be right there. Hauling. Did it work? Yep, walked right in. Good, I told you not to waste time with an elaborate backstory. I just had a pleasant chat with our mercenaries. We should have all the leverage we need. Should I hold off on your interview? We never got a chance to talk to Blue. No, he's a liability. Do the interview, then get back here as soon as you can. We'll need to find some new directors. To be continued in the first annual SEXY AWARDS!